He got the first dose of the vaccine, then the city banned his clinic from giving out more shots. Now what? Today, the Chicago Health Department removed every shot from Innovative Express Care over misuse allegations. Let's get right to CBS 2's Jermont Terry with how patients waiting on the second dose are now scrambling. Jermont. Eric and Brad, if you've tried, try, if you tried to get the vaccine, then you know how tedious that process can be. Tonight, I talked to people both on and off camera who are furious to know that they may be back at square one because their second appointment is now in limbo. The signs outside the Innovative Express Care Facility clearly show you can get vaccinated here, but that isn't the case anymore. The healthcare center can't give out shots to anyone, including Billy Risley. Having no idea on what to do or what will happen is a big worry. His worries come after the Chicago Department of Public Health seized every dose left in Innovative's possession. City health leaders say Innovative was hired to give out the doses to CPS teachers. This is video when those doses started. Yet the company now is accused of giving the vaccine to 6,000 non-essential workers. I could understand uh, someone not playing by the rules or not following directions, but to leave everybody out without getting their second vaccine and shutting people down, because it's like an open commitment that we just shut the door on. Risley received this text message letting him know he must reschedule his second dose. He doesn't even work for CPS. Innovative Express came to his manufacturing company to give out the shots, and now he too can't get the peace of mind he expected. I feel like I'm out stranded and I have to go on a search and Monday is, will be my fourth week. So what am I going to do now? I'm at a deadline. Innovative Express in the statement says, in part, we never departed from our commitment to CPS employees nor other qualified individuals. The decision by CDPH officials today leaves us bewildered, saddened, and frankly disappointed in our local government. I have no idea what will happen. So what will happen next? He will likely get up early in the morning, get online, or pick up the phone to try to schedule a second appointment. But it's going to be a little bit harder because he can't just take any appointment. All of these people, they must get a dose for the original one, either Moderna or Pfizer. And one man told me off camera, that's like looking for a needle in a haystack at this point. Reporting live in the loop, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.